The word cancer is one of the most dreaded and feared in the world. Tara Douglas Franklin is one of the American population who can add the word survivor to it. As a mother of two at the time, she'll never forget that visit to the doctor when she learned her life had suddenly changed forever. I went into the doctor's office for a cyst that my boyfriend, my now husband found. Um, within that doctor appointment, I was called out the room to speak with the radiologist. And when I went into the room, it was one of those rooms filled with uh, films and the doctor said, sit down, I got something to tell you. And he said, we see early stage breast cancer, but we would need you to go get a biopsy to confirm the stage. And then that was when my response was, okay, well, by gosh, right, so I'm healed. Tell me my next steps. Tara quickly established a support system to help with the healing that followed. My mom, my dad, my sisters, my two teen children, as well as um, my boyfriend, they were very supportive to me. Um, they helped me every step of the way, as well as um, being in, in the church. I think um, past guidance on grace, faith, helped me through it a lot. At the time of her diagnosis, Tara was confronted with the unthinkable, terminate her pregnancy or risk dire complications. When I found out I was pregnant, I went to my doctor's appointment and they said, my cancer was hormonal, I need to terminate now. And I'm like, terminate now, you know, if God is giving me a life to where I found the early diagnosis, then he's giving me another life. Tara's decision proved to be the right one as she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Both are now thriving, thanks in part to faith, family, and the support of the Susan G. Komen Foundation. On October 21st, Tara will celebrate with other survivors from the Atlanta area as they share stories of gratitude and encouragement for one another. The Morton Pink Walk is a walk for thrivers, survivors, and their family. We all get together as a community. It, it allows us to see other people who've been in those same situations, and it helps me to be a part of something. And when you go through this diagnosis, you, you feel alone when you're in the room full of people who don't know what you're internally feeling. So the Coleman Foundation and that walk made me want to seek more and be a part of more support groups. That's one of the things that I just look at and think, wow, we did that, we helped with that. That's an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Our, our little organization that has so much heart has helped to create these, these massive um, undertakings that are gonna affect millions of women. Tara's story has had a happy ending and she's doing her best to give back in her professional life. I'm working towards a doctorate in health science where I can advance my career in oncology research where I can assist in helping to prevent, detect, and come up with more solutions to prevent breast cancer. Mm -hmm.